Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Scripted on Cosmos Cloud. So Scripted is about making it to where you can uh, uh, put your Ring devices or anything that's not supported by home Apple HomeKit yet, stream it to your Apple TVs and uh, things like that. So uh, also you can see it in your home app. And um, So Cosmos Cloud is a secure environment built on Docker. So it makes it to where you can have a proxy built in, DDoS protection, rate limiting, user administration, single sign-on, all different kinds of things. So it's a really neat environment. And um, so a little bit about this series is I'm going over Start Smart from Scratch. So I'm going to be installing things, software, servers, everything like that. So and going over home animations. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. So a little bit about Scripted. Uh, Scripted is a high performance home video integration platform. So this means that you can stream to anything, uh, including HomeKit Secure Video, HomeKit, Google Home, Alexa, different things. Uh, here's the supported cameras and more, Unify, Ring, they're different things like that. And then their uh, GitHub is active too. So about Cosmos Cloud, as it's a self-hosting service that you can use Docker cont containers to bring up. It's uh, it's built on uh, being fully secured and then set up out of the box. Uh, strong security at marketplace, reverse proxy, container management, e user management, um, anti-bot, anti-DDoS, uh, single sign-on, containers, modern security, even uh, LAN, then they have community, and then um, about the smart shield, dynamic rate limiting, adaptive actions, user bans and strikes, global request control to where you can um, user base metrics, privileged access, customizable, and I believe this is to where you can uh, total number of simultaneous requests on your server ensuring optimal performance. Yes, that's what I was thinking. So uh, a user bans and strikes to where you can actually ban users and give them strikes. Uh, rate limiting and uh, it actually prevents consuming more resources than, uh, than they are allowed. And it uh, terminates the request. And then dynamic rate limiting that makes it to where you can rate limit and maintain a a a API health without negatively impacting your user experience. And um, you can also uh, make it to where you can isolate the containers as well with an easy one bl button click. And uh, let's encrypt installation with the Docker run. So I did do an installation tutorial on this on Proxmox. So you can go check that out and it'll be down in the description. So now we have Cosmos Cloud up and running. And um, I'm going to um, go over to Serve Apps. Then I'm going to go Import Compose File. And then I'm going to go over to my GitHub that I created, the GIST, for the, com uh, the, compose, the Docker Compose File. So Docker Compose 3.5. The image is going to be Kush and then Scripted, Couch, um, and then set environment variables container names will be scripted restart unless stopped network mode host set a volume and then logging and then labels and then you're going to set a watchtower environment variables container watchtower is an image it's built in docker hub container name restart unless stopped and then volumes for the docker sock and then labels and then we're going to put a a uh, a port in for 10444 and then command to start it so um another tip uh with the image right here uh this does not have to have docker hub on it uh but if for some reason this is just got the name and then the the namespace and then the name this is pulling uh, from Docker Hub default. If it had a domain on it, it means that it's not pulling from Docker Hub. 
So now we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it inside of the the Cosmos, the import compo compose file right here. We're going to paste it in and then it has all the details in there. And then now we're going to say next down here. And then this is going to show you what's about to create. And then we're going to say create service. It's going to pull the images, start the service. And then it will have the service running over here. I'm going to say isolate the container network and isolate the container network. And then now we're going to um, go into the scripted. Then we're going to go to network. And then we're going to do 10443, 10443. And then update ports right here. And then this is on the host port. And then on the container port to so where we're port forwarding. So now we're going to go back over here. Okay, now we don't have any URL set. And the way Cosmos Cloud works is it has a proxy and it proxies all the requests to this actual container. So now we're gonna run, uh, we're gonna put this in. So name scripted, expose scripted to the internet. We're actually not gonna do that. We're gonna just use the proxy lo locally. And then the container port that we just sat, uh, I just put it over there in the network and the ports. And then since the container listens on HTTPS, we're going to do that. And then since it's a self uh, signed certificate, I'm going to say accept insecure HTTP target, HTTPS target. Um, so uh, turn on smart shield, yes. So everything looks good right here. So I'm going to go down here to confirm. And then this is to where it's going to refresh the page and refreshed. Okay, now you'll see a URL down here that you can go to. So we can go to it and here's the create uh, account for scripted and we got it up and running. So now that we have scripted up and running, I'm going to just set it up real quick to make sure it does work. And then I'm going to press login right here. It's going to log in and uh, you can go to the management console and it's just normal scripted and it is up and running and working. So when you're in Cosmos Cloud and you get it up and running and working, um, it's gonna show the image, it's gonna show the ID, it's gonna, it's gonna show the uh, the IP address and then it's gonna show healthy. Uh, the isolate container network is making it to where you can't, uh, it doesn't see the host network and then auto update container to where you'll auto update the Docker Hub container. And then um, you can go in here, you can see all your logs of what's happening with it. And you can see a terminal right here and then uh, more Docker uh, configuration. So restart unless stopped, you can do certain things. You can set environment variables you can set labels, and then you can see the network, you can see the ports, and then you can see the networks down here. Then you can um, see the volumes that are binded, so scripted and target. So. And then you can go over here, you can see the watchtower as well. You can see that there's no URLs, uh, so it's not exposed or anything. And then you can see the logs right here, the terminal. And then you can see the image that it's using, the restart policy, um, the interactive mode, the environment variables, the labels. And then you can go in here, you can see what ports are exposed and then the networks. Then you can see what, uh, there's a volume mounted for the docker uh, .soc right here. So I just showed you step by step on how to get scripted installed on Cosmos Cloud. This makes it to where you can secure your environment more with the proxy and rate limiting, DDoS, everything like that. 
and uh, be able to see if there's any malicious traffic. Um, so, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And see you next time.